I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me. Yeah, screw you, Marjorie. I'm going. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. <laughs> I promise I won't keep you long. I'm just gonna go. You can suck it. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Iron. Yeah. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have Thank you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. I know the crown doesn't hold my family in high regard. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Don't think I've forgotten your side of the arrangement. Yeah, what was the side again? And made it to the new queen. You will undoubtedly prove useful. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Something tells me I don't own him, him anything anymore after this little party. Today of all This will not go well. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. This game is dangerous at all. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> I'll deal with you after the wedding. Yeah, I don't even care. Come with me, Sarah. I think making a deal with Tyrion was a bad idea. Because I just remembered what's about to happen. And he has that thing on his desk, like he said. That's probably not gonna go very well. Garrett, easy now. Sorry, I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? I'm not telling you, Jon Snow. Through here. What brought him this far? He needs my help. There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want uh, watching? Uh, Finn about? Cotter. I'd go with... Co Cotter. Cotter's a clever one. He could be a real help. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. I'm not so sure about Finn. Of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit Warwick of House Whitehill. Oh, come on. House Whitehill. Make sure you're not this one's the bolt. Sweet haircut, too. <laughs> He's angry already. Gary. Gary, what's the master? You know him. Come on! Get moving! He's a dead man. Oh, are you serious? That's the guy? Oh, I know him. And that man deserves to die. Careful. He'll soon be a man of the watch. Snow! See these new recruits to the maester? Don't do something you regret. What if I just kill him before he uh, becomes a brother? If it isn't the fucking pig bomber, I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Oh, he looks this really angry. Back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Welcome to the wall, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight him. I don't even care. I'm a brother now. I'm gonna have to let it go and just forget about all the nasty stuff that happened. Oh, here we go. It's the wedding. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister, but 
me Cersei want to punish you. But it never should have affected me like this. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. Whoa. <gasps> I that bitch. But I suppose you have a right to replace me with who? Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah? It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is about you. I know this must be hard for you. It wasn't too long ago I was asking for your help with Marjorie. And what did you do? Now you know how it feels. Being on the outside looking in. But I'm your friend, Mira. Always. If you want my help with Marjorie, just ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. Please help me. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Sarah, I was wrong not to offer you my help. I can only ask you to be a better friend than I was to you. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. So it doesn't really matter what I did earlier. I'm letting her send you home. That's fun. Boy. We're missing everything. Hello. I know you. No, you don't. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. What's a Damien? Mecha Damien? Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. And what were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't You're mistaken. What you. off it? So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. Oh wine. You there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Yay. All right, so who's this guy? What's he gonna do? Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. Uh, why would you help me? We all have our own mischief to hide. Why would you want to help me? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Oh, he wants to bang then me. Why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. No, don't lie. You want to bang me. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Oh, it's that guy. I remember now. Consider me impressed. My partners, I'm afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. So what does that make you, if a little handmaiden could steal your very important deal? Aren't you the tart one? I'm a man who knows when to recognize a fixed game. The question is, can you, do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Of course I do. Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. No, I'm super clever, man. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? There's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? Uh, what's in it for me, man? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? control the price of ironwood together we could get very very rich together or should i go back to love whitehill who has proven to be very interested in it oh my god
Yeah, I'm pretty sure taking this guy's deal is like the best idea there is. And Tyrion's arrested. And this guy will probably go back on his deal. What happened? Joffrey's dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. Oh, you jerk. You understand. I can get the decree. Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. All right, bye. Bye. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It would be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pipe. Yeah, I agree. Why was the guard guy pointing at me? Oh, here we go. All right, pick that lock. Just open it. I don't even care. Just go in. Damn it. Well, what do you expect? <gasps> Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? I've got to get in there. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. Yeah. So open that door, street rat. So what do we do? <sighs> I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? Please help me. It's just kings who die stupidly around here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Is he gonna die trying to, to help me out? Oh boy. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. I work for Lady Marjorie. Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow I find that hard to believe. I don't care what you find hard to believe. I'm not going to ask you again. Oh boy. Are we going to have to kill another guard? Oh Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once. In the name of the king. Yeah, he's in trouble. You don't move. That street rat is in trouble. Tom, it's me. Hurry. God, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Alright, Royal Decree. He said it was on his desk, so... He said that it would be on his desk! Oh, that liar. Mira, we're running out of time. Ledger. Some parchment. Alright, let's check this out. Alright, we got a ledger, we got a strong box. Tyrion strong box? Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister guard is back. No, no, it's the other one. Damn it. Hide. I find a way to distract them. Oh boy. Oh. I'm really good at hiding. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Why? Well, that's convenient for me.
Oh shit! Come on, Tom. Help! Fire! Help! Damn it! Come on! All right, that was right on time. Again, very convenient for me. You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? I think, I think it has to be in here. It has to be. All right, put the key. Put the. Let's go with this key. Oh, come on! This must be that key. <gasps> it worked. Oh yeah. Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it. Finally, let's go. He's gonna die though. Tom's gonna die somehow. Neck. Well, we did. We got the decree back. Oh boy. We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. Maybe it's a trap, though. What is this? Our ironwood trees. Oh my god. It's the Whitehills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. They will pay. And they reduced it to nothing. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. Except for Gwyn. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. I do not trust this at all. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I'll hear what she has to say, but I won't forget who she is. Good. Is she in a See ruined building? Done here. here. You might want this. You may have known each yeah. other since you were children. I'll take Doesn't that. Be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. There's, there must be some reason why he's giving me a dagger. All right, old well. What is even going on here? Did they just ruin this farm, or I have no idea what's going on? Come on, Roderick, hurry up. Come on. Man, it takes him a long time to walk over there. I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little Maim and, and Megan. <laughs> um, okay, I don't I don't care. Why are you holding the dagger like that? You know, you could just put it away. An axe. I wanna get the axe. Let's grab it. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. Roderick. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? There's no way to miss it. And he won't stop. Yeah. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Damn your father. He's laid waste to this land. My land. I'll have my vengeance for this. I brought you here so that you would see what's happening. So there's no need to make threats against my father. I come as a friend. Do you? Yes, I do. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. It's good to see you again. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Thank you for paying respects to my father and brother. And for coming tonight. It's good to see you again. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. 
but it will only lead to more killing. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. You won't cower. Peace at what Will price? You work with me yeah. To bring an end to this war. Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. I know you refuse to kiss my father's ring, but you would be wise to show more respect to Griff. I'm not afraid of some petulant fourthborn. You should be, because there's a very dangerous fourthborn in your house right now. My lord, a band of riders approached from... Oh, here we go. Seven hills. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Now let's be quick. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know, but whatever it is, he knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. What? How? It's the maester. Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it, and I've heard some of the reports. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home. Even if it endangers Ryan's life. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. Well, uh, I don't know. That all depends on how Griff carries himself. You'll let my brother decide? Then clearly, you have given yourself over to slaughter. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. All right. My lord? Come along, Duncan. Oh my god, but is it Duncan? Is it the, uh, the S angry guy? Or is it the maester? I'd say the maester, because he's a little weird. Duncan, I trust. Yeah, they've ruined everything. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. I have troubling news. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. Um, How much worse could it get? I have to keep the peace with Griff, even if that means letting him have his way at times. The thought of it makes me ill. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. I can tell her. She's my mom. Enough with the mysteries, my son. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No. This can't be. And all our 
plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Time it's you. Hard, but I never thought I this think it's happen. her Tangren. Not in our house. I have to say, Master Ortengren worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Duncan? No, Duncan. Duncan. He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open, oh boy. our problems run deeper. Stay out of sight. Stay out of sight. <laughs> what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was I'll here. Play our wants. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must be. Oh, uh, what are you doing? I the balls to defy you, lord. What is this? What are you bastards doing? Oh, okay. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You continue with this and die. Oh, you've seen it before. Stop this or you'll suffer the same fate as my brother. <laughs> but we can't stop now. Not before my favorite part. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. Oh, no, Ethan. Well, that's mean. <laughs> Can I just beat him up now or something? I don't want to... <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. <laughs> what about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> Show restraint. To dirty my blade with your blood. I could strike him. You should have seen it. It seems dumb. Your brother, he acted like a true lord. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Come Make on, his mother watch. No now we'll it. really have some fun. Enough! Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Now those guys are jerks. Again, everybody in this game is a jerk.